Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Quantip for Python. Quantip is written in C++. It is then exported to different language, including Python, by using Quantip Swing. As of today, the latest Quantip release is version 1.21. If we search Quantip Python, we will see the latest Quantip Python package is also version 1.21. So we may be able to install Quantip for Python by a simple pip command. But before that, let's check whether we have already installed the Python compiler in our PC. So open the terminal. We can check it by typing python dash dash version. If you say python was not found, then it means that we have not installed Python compiler yet. The Python compiler is free to download. Let's go back to the web browser and then search and install Python compiler into our PC. Now let's check again to ensure that the Python compiler has been installed properly. As you can see, when we type the Python dash dash version command again, this time the Python version is returned. This indicates that the Python compiler has been installed properly. Now let's install Quantip Python package by this command. To illustrate how we use Quantip for Python, let's go through an example to place a call option that I have shown in my previous tutorial in C++ and this time we will use Python. And I'm going to install Jupyter Notebook so that we may walk through the example interactively. Now let's launch Jupyter Notebook. And let's create a new Python notebook. Okay. In order to use Quantip, first let's import Quantip library into Python. Hit Shift Enter to run and add the next line. We should now be able to access the Quantip class. Let's set the current date by creating a date object.
and let's assign the evaluation dates as the current date. Let's confirm the assignment by typing print quantity setting instant dot evaluation date. We can see that the date information has been set properly. Let's create the object of the maturity date to be about 3 months after the current date. Next, let's create the objects for the underlying price, the option payoff, the exercise type, and the vanilla option. Let's make an out of money call option by typing underlying equal to quantity dot simple quote. 23.44 and pay off is a tool called dot plain value pay off on the top option dot core 25.0 Exercise Quantit Dog European Exercise Expiry and Option Equal to Quantit Dog Where the Option Pay Off and the exercise next let's create the u curves and the volatility term structure we are going to use the flat forward curve for the dividend yields and the interest rate and we are going to use constant volatility for the volatility term structure type Dividend view equal to quantity dot flat forward today zero point zero percent for the dividend you quantity dot business two fifty two as the date count convention interest rate equal to quantity dot flat forward today and then 0.602% as the interest rate quantity dot business 252 as the date count convention volatility equal to quantity top black constant volatility today quantity top target as the exchange market 0 0.5 
we do x7 as the volatility one dot business 252 as the day count convention and after specifying all these parameters next step we are going to create the stock movement process and set the pricing engine for the call option we are going to use the black so merchant process and the analytic price engine type process equal to quantity doc black so merchant process Dot quo handle underlying quantity dot new term structure handle dividend new Dot new term structure handle interest rate quantity dot black volatility term structure handle volatility And then option dot set pricing engine connect dot analytic European engine clauses. Finally, we may try this call option which is slightly out of money type value equal to option dot mpv and print the call option value and if we set the underlying price to be at the money that is 25 And the call option value will be increased. And if we set the underlying price to be in the money, like 38, then the call option value will be increased further that's all for today's video I have saved this example in my Google Drive you may find the code from the link below thank you